and welcome. I am Raghav and today I am going to take up a question asked by Jayesh. So Jayesh wants to know how to prepare for the role of an automation test architect and he already has experience of 6.5 years in automation testing. So Jayesh, thank you so much for this question and I believe this will be helpful for many others. So in general, if you are already working into uh, automation testing field and you have several years of experience and if you have good exposure to automation frameworks in terms of designing and development of frameworks in maintenance of automation frameworks and skills on automation tools then you automatically become eligible for an automation test architect role to sum up there are three major roles or three major duties of an automation test architect the very first and the most important is designing and development of automation frameworks the second one is to suggest automation frameworks, tools, strategies, and process for automation. And the third one is to guide a team of automation test engineers in their day-to-day -day work. So these are the three major things that an automation test architect should take care of. Now, having said that, I have been an automation test architect for several years and I have handled a lot of automation testing projects. And with my observation and experience, I can tell you that the titles do not matter, but your work does. So it does not matter whether you are an automation test architect or you are a simple trainee or a fresher. It is the work that matters the most. So if you are able to do really good work that helps others, it does not matter if you are doing that work as a trainee or as an architect. So always focus on your work. And this is what I have experienced and I have learned in all these years. And that was all I wanted to share with you in this video. If you have any question for me that I... I can feature in the next video. You can put your question in the comment section below and I will take it up in the next video. Thank you for watching.